Ah, I knew it. I knew it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Big Ton Plays EverQuest on the Vox server. I'm working on the Hero's Journey quest achievement deal. I've, I'm now on Becoming a Hero, which is Food for Thought, Soul Patrol, Reclaim the Farm, Locked Up Locket, as well as Things Go Bump in the Night, the Catacombs. And after that, you have to complete this one first. There's things go bump in the night, the ogre spirit. So after I do that, I have to run back to Atkins to get the second part here. This one auto-completes when you finish it. But I've gotten one of the lockets already off the first thing. I've been killing for a little while here, so I wanted to record some of the progress. So I'm looking for stuff to loot off the inside the building here. I'm also picking up stuff off the skeletons, as well as getting credit for the actual skeleton kills. So we are going to start working on that. I believe this chest right here is one of the things. So slash open, I believe. Yep, so there's one of the trinkets that I need. Don't mind my Skype interrupting me. We'll go ahead and just everybody can need on that. Got ourselves a Skellington on us. All right, you need to stop, please. You. All right, always need, always need. Always need. Okay. Manello interrupted. Manello interrupted. All right. Get rid of all these pop ups. So it looks like it respawns super fast. Everybody should be auto-rolling and whatnot. Basically, I'm just in here killing these ogres, or these skeletons. They don't appear to be social. I find that a little strange, but maybe it's a low-level thing. Somebody just got level 18. So weird. I can't loot him while I'm fighting. There's level 18. I think everybody's now level 18. Yep. All right. Now, what is this? Oh. I don't really worry about the Heroes Forge stuff. Just ornamental. I like to micromanage the game, but that's just a little too much. So I just never on on that stuff.
Got to redo my sew. Okay, I guess we'll just go to this next room here. Okay, that's just an exit. But this one. Another exit, but there's two there. Get our guys hasted up here. See, when I saw the quest reward for that, it says, like, it's called a staff or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, staff of something. I thought it was a two-hander. Turns out that it was, in fact, a one-hand blunt. And it looks really, really cool. Yeah. Pretty cool loot. is ready to get looted again. Get looted, box. Yep. Oh, he is a wizard, I think. Still no match for the mercs. That's merchant loot or kind of quest item. There was an upstairs. A 
heap of bones. Bon guy. Oh, he drowsied me. So he's a shaman. You got one. You got two. You have one as well. Hmm. We have to break follow because knowing me, they'll run off the edge. Come here with your floating eyes. The target resisted. Things don't live long enough for a necromancer to really be able to do anything. Which is uh, pretty comforting knowing the fact that when it does get to be harder enemies, that I'm going to just be able to just absolutely lay into them with this guy. Starting to come across higher level defiant gear. The target resisted. Resisted my engulfing darkness. Bon guy. Might be able to go on auto follow at least temporarily. There's another box here. So far, nobody's won anything. Ooh, these guys are different. Drop zombie skin.
So we got rotting zombie flesh. I guess we'll just do that. And a zombie heart. Not sure what that's for either, but just greed on everything. Uh, I knew it. I knew it. You know, like. Like. Yeah, there's another one. Get mezzed. Is just rooting everyone. Okay, so it looks like this is going to take a while, so I'm going to end the recording here. Try to maybe knock out at least this part of it, and then I'll pick it back up in another episode. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Put your comments down below. Check the description for social media links, as well as a link to help my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.